Krishna avatara was considered as a complete avatara or a complete incarnation of God. The consciousness that we refer to as Krishna, if we have to be touched by this, we need Leela. Leela does not mean just dancing with somebody. You are willing to dance with death, you are willing to dance with life. Very, very few human beings ever get to be placed in as complex situations as Krishna was placed. In one human being's life, going through the variety of situations that he went through is uh, generally, it doesn't happen to most, most human beings. And uh, in all these situations that he was faced with, the clarity of vision that he exhibited and the certainty about his ability to discern as to what is true and what is not true, the clarity that he brought to people around him, people began to experience like God-like. So he was proclaimed as an incarnation and a complete incarnation. If you… for those of you who are not familiar with this, they talk about nine incarnations. I want you to understand this is… Uh, what I am going to say now is much before Charles Darwin came. So the first incarnation was Matyavatara, that means God appeared in the form of a fish. And you know Charles Darwin went about proving the first form of life on the planet were water life, fish. And the next incarnation is Kurmavatara, that means it's a turtle, it's an amphibious animal, half water, half land. Charles Darwin said this also. The third incarnation is Varahavatara, which is in the form of a pig, a gross mammal. And the fourth incarnation is Narasimhavatara, that is half man and half animal. The next one is Vamanavatara, a dwarf, human form but a dwarf. The next one is Parashurama, a full-grown man but an extremely violent man, a great fighter. We will meet him shortly here also. <laughs> Krishna meets him so he's still alive. So Parashurama is a fighting man. He even lopped off the head of his own mother, a very violent man. The next one is Ramavatara, a very peaceful one, but very unidimensional kind of man. The next is Krishnavatara, a, a very multidimensional human being. So Krishnavatara was considered as a complete avatara or a complete incarnation of God, not just one aspect. As a tribute, to the multidimensional nature of who he was. And uh, though he himself never claimed it, even if he had not claimed it, people around him naturally identified him as divine. In this identification that people attached to him, The whole culture evolved around this identity of Krishna being a complete incarnation of the Divine.
when we say Krishna. The essence of who he is. He is uh, an irrepressible child, a terrible prankster, an enchanting flute player, a graceful dancer, an irresistible lover, a truly valiant warrior, a ruthless vanquisher of his foes, a man who left a broken heart in every home. An astute statesman and kingmaker, a thorough gentleman, a yogi of the highest order and the most colorful incarnation. Krishna is seen and perceived and understood and experienced in many, many different ways by different people. Duryodhana, Radhe, his childhood lover, a milkmaid, a simple woman of the village. But, uh, with such unfaltering love and devotion, she has become so big that today you cannot talk of Krishna without Radhe. We don't say Krishna Radhe, we say Radhe Krishna. She has become… <laughs> to explore the most profound and the most serious aspect of life, but playfully, conduct that playfully. Otherwise, Krishna won't be there. The reason why the most profound dimensions of life have missed, have been missed by the vast population in the world is because they do not know how to be playful. If you want to explore this path playfully, if you want to be playful, you need a heart full of love, a joyful mind and a vibrant body, otherwise there's no leela. If one has to explore the most profound dimensions of life in a playful way, they must be willing to play with their awareness, with their imagination, with their memory, with their life, with their death. They are willing to play with everything, only then Leela. Leela does not mean just dancing with somebody. You are willing to dance with death, you are willing to dance with life, you are willing to dance with your enemy, you are willing to dance with the one who lo whom you love, you are willing to dance the last moment of your death, only then there is Leela. <laughs>